Happy President's Day, everybody. President's Day is obviously my favorite holiday. That's why I'm dressed as George Washington to help deliver a very special President's Day questions that need answers. Last week I wrote a bad word on the light board, but somehow they let me back. So let's take a look at the question that needs an answer. Let's take a look at the question that needs an answer. <clears throat> Four score, and I'm just kidding. Which of the following is an example of data at rest? Data typically exists in three states, at rest, in motion, and in use. Let me show you data at rest. The data is just hanging out, it's not moving. In motion, the data is actually moving. It's being sent or it's being uploaded to the cloud. In use is typically when an application needs that data to actually run. So let's look at A, HTTPS traffic. That's the traffic, remember, that helps us with our internet browser sessions. So that data needs to be actually exchanged. That's going to be in motion. How about data stored in a database? Keyword right there, stored. It's not being used. It's just waiting to be accessed. C, data being read by an application. Well, remember, an application that needs to use data, that data is actually in use. And finally, we have TLS traffic. TLS, remember, is a way to encrypt what? Data in transit, so definitely not data at rest. So that's why data stored in a database is actually data at rest. We're not using it, we're not sending it, we are waiting to access it when we need it. Even if you had no idea what any of this stuff was, you could probably find your way to the right answer. Let's look at the answer choices. Which one of these answer choices is not like the others? B, data stored in a database, that's the only one that's not actively being used or sent. So how are we actually going to protect our data at rest? What's a very common way to protect the confidentiality of our data? You probably said encryption. That is a great answer, and that has been the right answer for a very long time. So how we protect our credit card information stored in the database is the exact same way that Lincoln and his generals protected their battlefield data seven score and 10 years ago, encryption. All we have is plain text. We want to actually convert it and change it into ciphertext, and only people with the key can actually read that data. So you think encryption is new, you think cybersecurity is new, it's been around for a very long time. So I hope you learned something, hope you enjoyed the video, hope you have a nice day off on your President's Day. If you're wondering how Lincoln would have spent his President's Day, um, he had one very, very specific hobby. Somebody asked Mary Todd one time, you know, what does Lincoln like to do for fun? What is his hobbies? And she said one word, cats, which is why I'm wearing my bow tie today. Actually, can we zoom in on my bow tie? So I'm wearing his bow tie for a very, very specific reason. So if Lincoln had the day off, he'd be celebrating his birthday. He'd be petting a cat. Uh, he'd be watching this video, certainly. And he'd be studying for the CSSP exam. We'll see you next week.